In this video, you will discover the process of creating clean text animation in After Effects. We will be breaking down those five text animations step by step, and you can get those presets for free. The link will be in my Discord server. We will be dropping some sauce and exclusive live sessions, so be sure to join us today. And now, let's dive in. First of all, you're gonna start by like the basic animation, like some slide in, slide up. So you're gonna start by typing our text. So, in order to make any text animation in After Effects, you just need to type your text first, then open this panel here, then go to Animate, and from here, you can choose any parameter, so you can animate text based on that parameter. So, for example, firstly, I'm gonna start by adding a position parameters. So, right now, if you move the position from here, and you played, you see nothing will happen. So this is basically like where our animation will start. So our animation will start from this point here. To animate it sliding up where it was in the first place, you're just gonna open the range selector here, make keyframe for start and just animate it from zero to 100. Then we're just gonna ease, ease the keyframes, then enable the motion blur. Then we have our animation. You can also go to advanced here, change the, the mode to characters or words or lines. So characters, it will start up by each character. You can change it to words, so each word will start up separately. Or if you have multiple lines, you can select lines. You can mix it with other properties like opacity. So we're just gonna decrease it to zero. So we have this smooth slide up. We can even add scale and skew properties to it. We can scale it to zero and rotate it. So we have each word slide up and scale with small rotation. And you can play with it as you want. Moving on to the next one, which is bouncing text animation. So we're gonna start by adding our text. Then you're gonna go to animate, position, let's move a bit down here. Then you're gonna go to add here, and from selector, let's select expression. Then let's open up this panel here, open the amount. Then here we need to paste our expression. Don't worry, I have all the expressions linked in our server. In research channel, you can check it out after the video. You're gonna copy this one, then just paste it here, and you're done. As you see here, we don't have any keyframes to, to control the animation, so we only can control it using the expression here. So we have delay, the amplitude, the frequency, and the decay. So the delay is time of the animation so or the the higher the number the longer the animation and the smaller the number the shorter the animation it took longer and if we reduce it to for example 02 or 002 it will be faster let's make it 002 see and we have our, uh, also the frequency, amplitude, and decay. So basically, the amplitude is, is the thing that controls the overall size or the height of the uh, animation or the bouncing animation. So the more the amplitude, the larger and the more exaggerated is the bounce. So for example, here it's three. If you change it to seven, you see that the bouncing is larger and 
is more exaggerated and we have the amplitude which is basically how many bounces are over the time so right now it's 50 we can make it 250 so we will have more bounces and the decay it's how fast the bounce dem demolish so the higher the decay the bouncing will slow down and stop more quickly right now it's 7 so if you change it to 2 see the bouncing will last more and if you increase it the bouncing will end faster so that's basically the bouncing and we have not just one expression we have four expressions they they all do the same thing with the, the bouncing expression here we can add also extra para parameters like you can move the, the bouncing position here so the text will bounce in that side we can add a scale uh, opacity let's scale it to zero and change the y to zero so we have this bouncing we can add skew we can increase it and we can add rotation see so just play with it as you see it fit for your animation next up we have the colorful text fade out animation just gonna add our text then we're gonna go to the same place here we're gonna open animate fill color and hit rgb so not right now our text is filled with that color we have here so if you change it to blue nothing will happen just the text color we change it to blue although we have text fill here set to white so to animate the text fade out from blue to white we're just gonna open the range selector here make keyframe for the start and animate it from 0 to 100 that's that's all we can play with it for example we can make animate the end from 0 to 100 so you'll notice nothing will happen you just need to offset the keyframes here so we have this animation next up we can mix the first and the second army so we can make the bouncing text and the colorful text fade out so it's gonna it's odd new text layer we're just gonna copy the animator from this text and you're gonna copy the animator from the second one we can just remove the, the end here for the colorful text so we have clear animation the fourth one is the typewriter I think everyone use it and or everyone know how to like how to make it just gonna add our text now we have we have two options the first one is the easy one I think we just need type typewriter and it's already like already made in After Effects you see and you can modify it and you can make it faster or longer as you want or we can just make it ourselves by animating the opacity here open the range selector and it's animated from 0 to 100 and make sure the opacity is 0 here right now we have the snapping text animation then we're gonna open the same panel animate right now we're gonna add a tracking parameter so that's basically reduce the space between each character so if you increase it the characters will just go further and if you decrease it they will overlay over each other so what we're gonna do we're gonna animate it from let's say minus 17 just open the range selector and animate it from 0 to 100 easy easy and add fast blur or motion blur you see it's you know it's not that smooth so we can add a uh, position and opacity property to let's decrease the opacity and may move it a bit at the bottom 
see that's what um i mean by snapping so it's it's kind of snap in this side here right now we can mix like the fourth and the fifth one the typewriter and this one the snapping one we can add opacity and tracking parameters so right now we're going to decrease the tracking amount and we are going to decrease the opacity then open the range selector and animate the start from 0 to 100 so this is the difference this one starts from the left to the right but the, this last one start from the middle and go to the left let's say we have like a line text for example so let's say we have text here well if you have a text explorer plugin i think it's already mentioned in our discord server in the resources channel you can get it or there is an alternative free plugin you can get it also it's linked with the resources too I'm just gonna split this line into words so we have each word in separated layer so right now what are we gonna do we're gonna hit p to open the position then we're gonna move all the keyframes here to the right then we're just gonna move all our text to the, to the bottom or let's say it moves to the right like this then we're gonna select all the text and using the bouncer plugin we're just gonna hit bounce it make sure to choose the position here we're just gonna use the motion tool to offset our layers like this and we're gonna create a new null object then we're gonna link all the layers with it then hit option and the comma on the keyboard so you can open the grid so you can open this grid or this those gray lines we're gonna open the position here after all the animation are done hit p to make a position keyframe move bit here then we're gonna move all the layers to the right make sure it's in the center then we're gonna move again here move them also to the center and you're gonna do the same steps again and again then we're gonna ease, ease our layer our keyframes so we have this animation and make sure to enable motion blur too so we have this animation we can like we can mix it with other text animation that we have did already for example let's try the color one so we can copy the text animator and paste it is good here just hit ctrl v to copy it to paste it we can remove the end so we have this animation there is another option like uh, the Mr. Horse plugin, the animation composer. It has some cool effects. For example, this overshoot one. This one is is like the snapping one with the bouncing. This one is made using the tracking only. This one is like scaling for each character. And you have this one. You can just check them and use what fit with your your video or your animation. We have this decoder one. If you want to make the decoder the decoder one, let's type decoder. It's it's pre-made in After Effects. Just search for decoder and you have it here. By the way, the bot plugin I use it's called FX Console. And from here I did add some like the most used presets like deep blue and fade in if you want to add yours just download it and install it then go here and if you have animation just click here and type the name of it let's say for example decoder here just select it hit ok then the next time you want to use it just hit control space or option space in the mark and here you can find it the decoder Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.